So you get leg speed and stride length mm -hmm. by lifting your knee. Mm -hmm. Now this means you've got to be very strong in the upper legs, upper mm -hmm. thigh muscles. And there are very, very few runners who can run a whole race or run right through a race uh, without the knee starting to go down. Therefore, mm -hmm. they're losing their stride length and stride speed. Mm -hmm. In other words, they start to get a neuromuscular breakdown. Mm -hmm. Thigh muscles mm -hmm. and consequently progressively develop the muscle fiber, both mm -hmm. white and red muscle fiber. We don't sprint up a hill. It's not, we're not trying to make a hard anaerobic workout. We go up at a speed sufficient to maintain, maintain our forward momentum but putting, putting effort or, or stress on the legs. In other words, bring resistance to the legs. <coughs> so the slower we go up the hill, the more resistance we get on the muscles. So when you go up a hill, you've got to get your knees up. You must have your hips forward to get your knee up, and you've got to drive off the back leg. Back leg. By doing that, we'll start to eliminate this running with our legs bent, sitting down, uh, squatting down as we run. It means we've got to get up tall, and we get power and drive. It's when you straighten your leg you get the power. If you have your legs bent all the time, you get no power. It's when you straighten your leg, you get the power. So by bounding up a hill, taking long bounding strides, bring the knee up, and driving hard off the back leg on a gentle slope, you start to get power, a lot more power, and a better running action. So what we do, we, we get on a gentle slope and use our body weight for resistance by elevating it as high as possible with a slow forward momentum, coming down on the ball of the alternate feet, which in turn, being on a hill, gives us an extension to an extreme of the ankles, both up and down, which in turn extends both the muscles and sinews in the fronts and the backs of the legs, and strengthens all the muscles around the, the tendons, eliminating the possibility of tendonitis. I never ever had an athlete with uh, Achilles tendon or hamstring troubles because training on hills you get a nice balance in the muscle resistance, the resistance on muscle groups and therefore uh, you don't have any problems.